Don't come for me unless I'm not meeting the minimum payment. Let's go and get into a Real Housewives Atlanta Season 8, Episode 2. Can you, you better not pay them bills on time, bitch, rolling in the ditch with Charlotte's web spinning shit all around your property. Baby, this episode of Housewives was whack, okay? Um, it wasn't really whack, but I'm not really surprised because this is the episode two. They've kind of reeled us in a little bit, and now we're just going to be watching, just be watching. But, you know, we did have some funny moments, and I'm going to talk about those. So, let's go and get into them. Sheree and Kenya are still arguing for what reason, I don't know. Both of their houses are about, abounding Scooby um, stories, okay? I feel like we run through one um, hallway. We're just going to keep on going, just like a never-ending story. I just cannot. Um, Sheree, your house is... You know, not finished yet. Um, you take you say it takes time. It, it, it doesn't take time if you have no coins. Like Sheree, your house you've been building that whole. Um, they have built apartments in Atlanta, whole apartment complexes. They have built um malls and stuff in the time. Like Sheree, this no, no excuse. Just just be honest. Say, look, I ran into some financial problems. Because we already know you have. So just, I mean, just take it from them and just say, you know what? A bitch, you know, luckily can't, and then can't get me back. He didn't gave me an advancement. I can pay off Ace Cash Express. I can pay off the payday loans. And I can get some of my um, iPads and MacBooks and stuff out of the pawn shop. That's all you got to do, Sheree. Just keep it real, girl. Keep it real, honey. All the way 100. So they going at it, going back. Then what's the name? Um, you know, Kenya just said I had enough of it. Kenya knows exactly what to do to continue to keep her messy ass on the show. And I'm here for it. She was just like, okay, I've done enough. Let me just pooch on out. And that was just it. Peter and Cynthia look like they about to have a fist fight. And Mallory, is, I guess she's going to be the referee and try to calm everything. Uh, Peter and Cynthia, at this point now in the story, I hope that this shit is and you're fabricated. I hope that it's not real because... We have seen this man take your credit through everything in the last couple of seasons. And I just feel like, what else do you need, okay? If you can't keep your credit above 700, where can you go? I mean, Bob One has closed down. Um, the Bailey Agency did move to South um, Atlanta. I mean, it's in the hood. I don't know where it's at. I'm just talking shit. It's no furniture in the hole. You, go, you, you drive past, it's just like, it's nothing there but... Uh, reflections in glass. That's it. That's reflections in glass. There's nothing in there. It's just like, Cynthia, I just, I don't know what to tell you. I like you, Cynthia. I really do. I just, I just, I just, I just, you know, keep your head up is all I got for you, honey. Um, Kenya goes and talks to Kim Fields. We get, um, Kim Fields and she wants to, you know, help, she wants Kim Fields to help her with a pilot. Kenya, your, your pilot is trash. Like your skin. Well, last season, your skin is not bad this season. It looks like you've been probably using some cocoa butter and some um some booty hole juice um from some of Fraud Malone's makeup tutorials. Um anyway, <laughs> let me stop being silly. But anyway, I do want to um let everybody know to go to justinj1232.com. Um I am still taking what's names for uh for the shirts. Yes, yes, yes. You it's not too late. I've gave y'all two weeks. Two weeks, you got into this Friday. Y'all done got y'all check. Y'all done paid y'all rent. Y'all done got caught up on bills. Go on, get you a shirt. I'm not, I'm not charging the arm leg like some folks. You know, go on, I'm offering, you know, really some, some, some cute shit. I'm trying to do something. And like I said, everybody that's pre-ordering a shirt within this time frame will get something special. I can't, I'm not going to say anything until after I get all of them. Because I just want to see how many people are going to just genuinely say, let me just support and all that type of stuff. Because, you know, it takes support to take stuff to the next level. So I appreciate those who have... Um, who have already pre-ordered and did all that type of stuff. make stuff so much easier for me. And I really do, really do appreciate it. It looks good, me going and building other things and going to other stuff. I just love it. It makes me look like real official, okay? I, I can go in and, and, and talk like, look, these folks, I got, it's been a week and I, I look, so I need this and that. So, you know, if, if people show me support, I can do better for us, okay? Honey, that's, that's what it is at the end of the day. So, Justin J. Swear 32, go to shop. Pre-order you a shirt, honey. Get ready, because, honey, it's going to be the tea. Get ready for this ride from the park park bench to Buckhead. Get into it. And make sure you go to JustinJ1232.com every day. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm updating content all the time, uh, putting up, you know, funny stories. Dear JustinJ1232 at gmail.com. Um, just funny stories, inspirational stories. 
um, got your LGBTQ, all that type of stuff. I'm doing all of that, and it's just me right now. I am trying to. I have been very busy. It's been a restless week for me, and I will also be in Houston hosting um, the Go Hard or Go Home competition in Houston, Texas, um, hosted by the um, D3 Elite. I'm so excited about that i'm so excited about that going to houston out there will be um sarah and i will be doing some posts about that for people who want to go to houston and see me and meet me and all that type of stuff and just support it's going to be really fun i'm very excited about it so moving on swift and professionally back to the topic at hand um kim is having a conversation with kenya and kenya is just like halloween hollywood has been good to us and kim looking like bitch where how has it been good to us Kenya, you've not been in anything Hollywood besides Real Housewives of Atlanta. I mean, girl, there's no Hollywood for you like that. I mean, I don't. That's not. I don't think that's considered as Hollywood. You've not really done much. You've done some couple of, you know, straight to um, Red Box movies and shit. And you know, Red Box. Um, here we get this shit out the box right now, so we can upload some new content. You know, not even straight to Netflix type shit. It's just like, girl, you've been giving us um, Blockbuster 2015 tees, okay? No, there you cannot find a Blockbuster anywhere except them little mom and pop um, towns somewhere in the middle of Tennessee some damn where. Um, so, you know, I don't know what to tell you, honey. I just don't know what to tell you. Um, your pilot is trash. The storyline was like it was okay. But it just looked bad. It just looked bad, Kenya. And you, I just don't know, child. You just a waste of time. That damn three minute commercial you did. That's straight to YouTube bad shit. So, mm, so whatever. It is what it is. So we get an introduction to Kim. To who is Kim? She has a husband. Um, she has some kids. And Kim I thinks she's like forties. And her mama's unfixed. She looks really, really good. Kim feels looks absolutely fabulous. I will give her that. I don't know at this point right now if I'm here for her storyline, to be honest. And a lot of, I might, you know, people might be upset about me about this, but I can only be honest about my opinion. This is my opinion. This is my channel. On my channel, my opinion. Check that video out too. I'm just, I think Real Housewives, the Housewives is just a, a parody, period. You know, these are not actually, I, I went on and said that these are just parodies. And I'd rather have, I would, like Dustin Ross has said, I would rather have had Marlo as a having a peach or something versus Kim Fields. Kim Fields, I listened to the storyline and it was, it was putting me to sleep. It was boring. Yes, it's positive. Yes, it's that and that. And yes, yeah, she ain't ratchet, but it was just boring. It's just boring. Y'all kill me with that. Oh, it's, it's. It's not this. It's y'all want everything to be ratchet. And true enough, yes, yes, yes. We do want some positive shit. But girl, this is real housewives of Atlanta. Y'all really like that positive shit like that. Go watch PBS. I don't see PBS numbers doing um great every night. So just shut that dumb shit up. I don't I don't see, you know, just I mean it's cute, but it's just like this is not the show for that. This is not just I don't know. I'm just on the fence with it because Kim Fields' storyline was boring as hell. And what I'm hearing and what the talk is on Twitter, and this is all allegedly, they're saying that the reason why um, Kim Fields is on here so they can talk about her husband um, potentially, potentially being um, homosexual. So we're going to see how that goes. I don't know how true that is. That's the first time. But, you know, I did read that somewhere. I'm not sure. And, this, you know, this is, I don't know if I believe it or not, but then somebody did say something about it on Twitter. So I was like, Sips tea, so we're gonna see about that. But um Kim Fitz has some beautiful children. Um I'm just know if I'm here for her storyline or whatever. Just it's gonna be cute, you know. She's gonna add something different. Um it's gonna I guess it'll be cute to see that, but you know, I just can't wait to say what Fader said, girl, didn't I tell you it's a right wild bunch, girl? <laughs> so um we get to um Portia. Um uh, we get to Portia and her sister, her you know, Portia's Planning this fabulous birthday party for her boo, her 24-year-old boo, Duke, for world reason. I have no idea. Portia's sister is supposed to be expecting, honey. Um, to just pop out. She's just, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Oh, I'm pregnant. It's just like, but it is bitch. Like, you want a peach? And Portia was feeling some type of way. She's saying, what's the name you got pregnant before me? And then I'm just like. <sighs> just I don't know. Um, cause you if you was rich, you go get your teeth fixed, baby. When Sheree said that shit, they showed that shit. That shit had me hollering. Go get your teeth fixed, bitch. That shit was funny. Sheree is crazy as hell. Um, I guess why that you was trying to charge me five off for that damn for that um for that picture, honey. Um, what else was going on? So Portia ends up throwing this little 
soiree thing for um Duke and Duke walk in there and he just like he looked like what is all this and it's just too much going on. He was just looking like like he looked like that woman on the Wendy Williams show. She like what was going on? And the dude was like, bro, what's going on with this? And I had a conversation with my friend, and she was basically saying that you like to be honest, men, women, it's it's fun, it's fucked up, but you cannot give that man, you can't let a man know how much you love him like that quick. You just cannot do it. Like it scared the shit out of him. It scared him, Portia. Like you was just doing it, and everybody did that poltergeist shit on your ass on watch what happened live. They do the ah 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 ah. I just didn't, Portia. I just could not. I mean, Portia. I hope that he must be digging in your guts, honey. He must be digging some Baskin Robbins ice cream at your pussy, girl. Cause I just don't see. You know, he's an attractive guy, but he, you know, he looks slow as a box of rocks, bitch. Not even a bag of rocks, a box of damn rocks, girl. I don't know. And just kick him. I don't know what to tell you, honey. You know, it's cute for what it is, girl. Hopefully you, hopefully, I don't know, girl. You just scared to shit at him, and I don't see you and Duke working out, honey. I seen you put this shit up on Instagram. Tell me you learn. You live and you learn. Yes, girl. Yes. For the rest of our days. Don't do that no more, Portia. Don't do that no more. But dude, you scared the shit out of him. You was girl, you had a dress on all this type of shit. Like, girl, I thought you were about to propose to this young man. Girl, I thought you was I about you was about to propose, girl. I like thought you was gonna say, you know, get on your knee, girl, and it was just too much. So anyway, so Candy, you know, Todd been fucking with Candace, um, about them eight thousand dollars. And I'm at this point right now, I'm like, Todd. Bro, ain't no, you know, you being shady as shit about this little eight thousand dollars, but I still want to know what happened to that play. You know what happened to all them folks who had their violins and pianos and shit, and we ain't seen that shit. It's in, you know, it's gone, honey. It's gone. Like you talking a lot of shit, and I just feel like Todd, you doing too much. I feel like you doing too much. Like what them eight thousand dollars? What them eight thousand dollars? I'm just like, you know, if it's so serious, why don't you just ask? Why don't you ask? If it's so serious, you sit up here and got Apollo shit in your in your garage. Why not ask him? Like, and I feel like you need to say, bro, you, we didn't get our eight thousand dollars back. And you know, Candy, you know, she talked to Phaedra, and she didn't take didn't even take a minute for Candy ass to start crying, and Phaedra start crying too. Cause Candy, oh, I just know, huh? I mean, and y'all know Candy is pretty, so she really needs to calm down. She's like, yeah, it is just, and it's kind of messing with Candy's marriage a little bit. Because a man asked him about it, and she said, you know, the $8,000, then um, Frazier was like, no, it's $5,000. Frazier, it don't matter if it's $2,000. Give the girl her goddamn money back. Give her the money back, all that type of shit. But Candy did have a point. She was like, you got the FBI looking for me and this stolen ass shit and da-da-da-da. And I don't know where it's at, and you got it. And somebody telling me that you got it in your garage. Now, Candy, you got a man, you got a, you got a felon shit in your damn Yo, in your garage, and that shit looks really bad. Like, if they looking for that shit, girl, I don't know how true this shit is, but girl, you that that shit looks real trashy. Like, and I can understand what Phaedra coming from. Like, bitch, you got this shit, like, and you supposed to be my friend. I just don't understand it. It's just, you know, I don't know what position, what you should do. You all tell me what you what should what should Candy do and what should Phaedra do. You know, I kind of feel like both of them in the wrong, but hopefully they can hash this thing out because they look like they, you know, good good friends. And I would let them so petty come between us. I'm like, I just could not do it. It hurts me. So Miss Don Juan heard about the shit. And he comes out, he pushes his ass out there, and he started talking plenty of shit. Tell my son, I heard Phaedra fake ass crying. What's up, fake ass hoe? Okay, so he was just like, you know, she she knew that man wasn't shit. She knew he was a criminal, baby. If if Don want to start throwing shade, baby, Chad, Bravo must have prom promised him an extra two thousand dollars um to go to buy the hair care for men or some shit to um to throw some shade. He was throwing it, but you know what? That's what they do. But um, you know, that was cute. It was cute. This episode was cute for what it was. It could have been a little bit better. Um, I'm currently in Memphis right now. I'm finna. Get my ass in the bed because I got to go see about um some shit tomorrow. I got a lot of shit to do, honey. A lot of shit to get taken care of, honey. And I just don't even know where to start it. I'm tired as hell, honey. Y'all make sure y'all check out JustinJ1232.com. Everything. Tell me what y'all thought about this episode of Real Housewives Atlanta. And tell me what you think about my website. I appreciate you all support so much. Thank you so much. And have a good evening. Good night.